Okay, Lee touched in again. I, I hate to keep saying I was the former president of the NAACP, but I think it's important if anybody comes to this video first that they know who I am and what my relationship to this case was all about. As part of the NAACP, I was tasked with going around and talking to various uh, community leaders, city leaders, elected officials, investigators who worked on the Kendrick Johnson death investigation. And I did this to the best of my ability and right now I am documenting my recollections because I think it's important to have a historical record from someone who was actually here on the ground going around and talking to people over and over again. This particular shoe is not related to the KJ case. It was in the gym. Um, Victor Blackwell put this up on CNN and I believe he interviewed Jackie and Kenneth Johnson about it and they claimed that this shoe means that the Sheriff's Department did not do their job properly because uh, I guess because it, it, it wasn't uh, bagged and tagged, I don't know, but it, there is a record of it in the case file. I'm not gonna get the case file back out because it is 600 pages. The last time I looked, I think it's long, bigger than that now. Um, and I'm doing this strictly as a volunteer just because I think there needs to be a historical record from somebody who was actually here. Uh, that the investigators that I spoke with said they did test that shoe and it was not blood. They think that substance is paint. Now, why anybody thinks a shoe with paint on it has any relation to a death, I'm not sure because there was no paint found on Kendrick or in his mat or uh, anywhere else around where his body was found. So it just happens to be an artifact of all the stuff that was left in the gym and it does not deserve a place in history as an indication that something was done incorrectly regarding this investigation. Okay, rant over.